Hi, welcome to tutorial number eight. In this tutorial, we're gonna finish with um, the functionality of the buttons in the calculator for the digits. And uh, in our previous tutorial, you remember we just have the button number one that is uh, working. So what we're gonna do is go back to the design so remember I click on button number one so what I'm gonna do is do the same with the other button so I'm gonna click on button number two so I'm clicking on that and then what we're gonna do is copy and paste the code so I'm gonna copy and paste it and the only change is if I press button two so it's still gonna be multiplying the the value of, of the screen by ten but then I'm gonna be adding two okay and then Again, what, what this expression says is the new value of the screen is equals to the old value that I have on the screen, multiply that value by 10, and then add 2. So this is the old value, this is the new value of the screen. Once I compute the new value, then I display it on the actual text box. Okay, so now let's test number 2. So here, 1 works, 2 works and two works perfect so we're going to continue doing the same with the other buttons so we go back here now i do the same for three i paste it and then what is the change we change the one for the three now i'm going to go back here and do the same for the four we paste it and we're going to put here uh, the four then do the same for the five paste it we add in here the 5, then we do the 6, so the 6 goes here, then we go back and do the 7, so instead of a 1, we're clicking on 7, right? And then we go now number 8, we paste it, we change the 1 for an 8, and then we do the same for the nine. And now we do the zero. So for the zero, we change this adding plus zero, right? But that doesn't make sense. I mean, I mean, I mean, it's nothing wrong. But you know, this is the identity of the addition, so we can take that away. I mean, plus zero, that is not needed. Now the adding two zeros let's see so we're gonna do this and then again I'm not gonna add two zeros there but then this only adds one zero then I'm gonna put this times hundred okay so now let's press F5 and let's test this so we got all the digits so we got two four nine that's two zeros one zero two one zero oh. so it works it looks okay so now maybe we can also program the clear okay so let's go over here and then the clear is basically going to erase whatever we have there right so my screen is text box but remember what I'm the, the value of my screen I'm keeping that on a on variable screen so I'm gonna say well variable screen equals zero and then my text box one dot text equals the screen again right or zero then I press F5 and see that works so we got more so we got this this and then this it seems they work and then I say oh no you know I made a mistake see ah good and then I say 58 7 oh I made a mistake uh, uh, okay so let's see we can do the addition and uh, to do the others we're gonna need from the from next week to have something about decisions when we need to decide so for now let's assume that we're just doing uh, addition so we're gonna add another variable we're gonna call that total and then i'm oh, sorry remember to define a variable we need the dim before 
Okay, how that that's highlighted in blue. That means this is a key keyword or a research word in, in Visual Basic. So we shouldn't use that for a name for a variable. So I'm gonna call this total as double. And remember, I don't have to initialize, but in this case, I will because I'm gonna have to have some type of addition. So what I'm gonna do is, okay, when I click on the plus, I want an addition, right? So let's say that now um, total right now equals screen and I'm gonna change my screen. So when I press the plus, I'm saving when it's on the screen on my variable total and then I'm gonna restart my screen on zero and I'm gonna start typing on that and uh, yeah that's what I need right so I need to do that so, so I'm typing so now but I don't see the answer yet until I press the equal sign so let's see well let's let's test it what we have so if I do 125 plus I can now type 78 but I still don't have the equal working right so now we're gonna exit and I only have the plus working so I'm gonna click on my equal so the equals remember my first operand is on total so I'm gonna say where the new total equals on whatever I already say in total plus what I have on the screen okay and that's the total and then after that my screen will be again zero and I'm gonna display text box one dot text on the screen we're gonna display in this case the value of total which is the answer let's press F5 again let's see 27 plus 13 equals 40 beautiful so now we got these buttons working we got the plus and we got the equal and we got these two so let's see if that works 25 then this but I think I'm, I'm adding I mean keeping the answer from before so 12 plus 1 equals 13 oh, okay so um, so it, it seems that this is okay and this is working we're gonna continue adding functionality to the other buttons next week once we know more about if statements and how we can make decisions because now the equal sign is to make a decision about okay what do you want me to do with the numbers an addition a subtraction a multiplication or a division and then we're also gonna need something for the for the decimal point okay so that will be all for this tutorial and I will continue with the PowerPoint and um, and then I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you how to work on the next posting okay so um, so let's wait for the next tutorial now.